Four lives extinguished in the blink of an eye, a grim reminder of the volatile situation in Gaza. In an unfortunate turn of events, an Israeli airstrike claimed the lives of four foreign aid workers and a Palestinian translator in central Gaza. These aid workers hailed from diverse corners of the globe, including Australia, the United Kingdom and Poland, united by their shared mission of providing support to those in need. They were part of the respected food aid charity, World Central Kitchen, diligently working to deliver vital food and supplies to the embattled region of northern Gaza. Their convoy, a beacon of hope amidst the chaos, was struck south of Deir al-Bala, abruptly ending their humanitarian endeavor. This heartrending incident is now under investigation by the Israeli military, as the world watches with bated breath. A tragedy that has sparked international outrage and calls for the Israeli government to stop indiscriminate killings. The world watches in disbelief and anger, demanding justice for the victims. The international community has responded with a strong condemnation of the incident in Gaza. The Australian Prime Minister, echoing the sentiments of many, has called for full accountability over the tragic loss of life. He stands alongside other world leaders, demanding answers, and more importantly, a solution. In the midst of this turmoil, the United States has been proactive in promoting a new method of delivering aid to the region. A sea route, far from the usual conflict zones, has been touted as a safer way to bring much-needed supplies to those in need. This innovative approach is not without its challenges, but it represents a glimmer of hope in a situation that often seems hopeless. The international response to this incident is a clear reflection of the world's shared desire for peace, stability, and justice in the region. It's a stark reminder of the need to protect those who put themselves in harm's way to provide aid and support to the most vulnerable. An incident that begs the question, how can we safeguard those who risk their lives to help others? The incident in Gaza is but a single thread in a complex tapestry of conflict. The tragedy is not an isolated one but a part of a broader ongoing crisis that continues to unfold in the region. Just a month ago, over 100 Palestinians lost their lives during an aid delivery attempt by an Egyptian convoy. These episodes of violence are not mere numbers, but represent real lives, real people, who were reaching out to provide help, to convey hope, and to share resources in a place where they are critically needed. Amidst these tumultuous times, the Biden administration has not stayed silent. President Joe Biden, during his State of the Union address, echoed the sentiments of many when he emphasized the need for peace and security for both Israelis and Palestinians. He challenged Israel to allow more aid into Gaza and ensure the safety of humanitarian workers. This is a challenge that carries weight and meaning for every member of the international community, as we all bear witness to the events unfolding in Gaza. The establishment of a temporary port on the Gaza coast by the U.S. military was proposed as a means to facilitate the delivery of essential supplies. This move signals an acknowledgement of the dire situation and a tangible step towards addressing the humanitarian crisis. However, the road to peace is not paved with good intentions alone. It requires action, accountability, and a steadfast commitment to uphold the rights and dignity of all individuals involved. The deaths of the foreign aid workers and the Palestinian translator are a stark reminder of the high human cost of this conflict. A critical juncture for the international community, will it be business as usual or is change on the horizon? Behind the politics and the protests, there are people. People who pay the ultimate price. The human toll of this conflict is staggering. In the midst of the turmoil, the numbers speak volumes. Over 8,500 Palestinians have lost their lives, with women and children making up a heartbreaking 67% of these casualties. Each of these numbers represents a life abruptly ended, a family shattered. Each number is a story of a future that could have been, dreams that will never be realized. Among the innocent lives lost, 40% are children. That's over 3,400 young lives extinguished far too soon. More than a thousand children are missing, their fates unknown, their families left in a painful limbo of uncertainty. Beyond the fatalities, the conflict has uprooted hundreds of thousands of people from their homes. Displacement, a word that barely begins to capture the trauma of being forced to leave everything you know behind. These are families who've had to abandon their homes, their communities, their sense of safety and familiarity, all in the name of survival. The human cost isn't just in the lives lost, but also, in the lives forever altered. The psychological toll on those who survive is immeasurable. Children growing up in the shadow of conflict, their formative years marked by fear and instability. Their childhood, 
a casualty of a conflict they didn't choose. This is the real cost of the conflict, not the political points scored or the territorial gains made, but the everyday lives irrevocably altered. A sobering reminder of the cost of conflict, lives lost, futures stolen and a generation scarred by the horrors of war.